Assalamualaikum and have a good day everyone Today I will show to you how to operate the wet cooling tower This is wet cooling tower system I will show to you the main part for this system This is the main switch for this system So you can turn it on by turn it into clockwise So you will see value will be appear on the panel the second switch is heater switch that will uh, heating the provide heat to the water in water tank so you can choose a various of uh, heater power third switch is fan switch and the last switch is a pump switch this is radio fan and butterfly valve you can regulate the air circulation inside the cooling column by turn it into anti-clockwise so if you want to increase the air inside the cooling tower you can change it into 90 degrees for the maximum value so if you want to reduce the flow you can turn it back into the original position this is water tank you need to fill in water inside this tank and then after that you need to open this valve to allow the water fill in this water tank so you need to fill in the water until a certain level this is pump and regulator valve you can control the water flow rate by adjust this valve this is spray nozzle where the hot water will enter the cooling tower and this is the cooling column you will obtain several data from this panel such as the relative humidity air value, temperature water value, temperature air value, water flow rate or the differential pressure value. The first step is switch on the main power and then switch on this switch by turn it into clockwise then fill in water inside this supply tank after that allow the water to flow into the supply tank by open this valve after that switch on the heater by choose the heater power for example one switch on the heater you need to wait for several minutes for the water to be heated and you can observe the increment of temperature by see the temperature supply tank value next you need to switch on the pump Adjust the regulatory valve to control the water flow rate. The water will flow from the water tank and enter the system. From this nozzle spray. Then you can switch on the fan to provide the air circulation inside the cooling power the hot water will flow downwards and it will flow back into the water tank while the hot air will leave the system from this upward section you can collect your data by observe the changes of the value from this panel after the experiment you need 
to swish off all this swish you can connect a pipe here to remove the water from water tank and you need to turn this valve anti-clockwise so that the water will be flow out from this tank so before that you need to make sure that the water is cool before remove from this tank 